Hello everyone, Natalie here from the Pilates Studio. I'm going to be taking you through a beginner classical mat workout today. So all you need is yourself and a mat if you are on a hard surface. So let's begin by lying down on our back in a hook line position. And that just means that our feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent. Our arms are going to be reaching along by our side and we're going to begin with the Pilates hundreds. Um, what the hundreds does is it works to warm up and circulate the blood in your body to get you nice and warmed up for your workout. So to work this hundreds, your arms are going to be reaching nice and long and you're going to be pressing those arms down to the floor in a pumping motion as you inhale for a count of five and exhale for a count of five for a total of 100, hence the name. So in this exercise, you can work with your feet in this hook line position. If you want to take it up a notch, you can bring those legs into a tabletop position. And for those who are wanting even more of a challenge, they can extend their legs out to a 45 degree angle while we work the hundreds. Um, because this is beginner, I'm gonna go ahead and leave my feet down in that hook line position. So let's start by drawing those abdominals towards the spine, arms reaching long by your side, shoulder blades into your back pockets. We're going to take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, we're gonna curl our head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. Arms are reaching long by our side. We begin to pump the arms as we inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale, 20, inhale, and exhale 30 inhale and exhale 40 inhale and exhale 50 inhale and exhale 60 inhale and exhale 70 inhale and exhale 80 inhale and exhale, 90, inhale, and exhale, 100, lower that upper body back down to the floor. Okay, from here, we're gonna work some roll-ups. So those legs will extend all the way down to the floor, and then I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit so you can see me better. Um, so I'm extending my legs all the way nice and long. And then I'm gonna reach my arms long overhead. And when I reach those arms, it's important that I watch my low back and that I'm not arching. I wanna keep my nice neutral spine here as I reach my arms long overhead. Now, we are going to take an inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we're going to begin to lift those arms up and then lift the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat and then really scoop through those abs to bring us all the way up. And then we're going to reach forward towards our toes to get a nice stretch. And then we're gonna stack our vertebra up one at a time, nice and tall until we are lifted. And then we will tuck that pelvis under and begin to roll back down one vertebra at a time. Ending with those arms back overhead. Now, if that was a little bit difficult for you to do and you couldn't get all the way up, I'm going to show you how you can modify this to work through this roll-up. So, inhale, prepare. Exhale as those arms start to lift and my head and neck curl up. I lower one arm down to the floor and I use it to help press me up. And then I reach forward, bring that arm forward to reach and then stack up nice and tall tuck the pelvis and roll back. And if you need to, that arm can come right back down by your side to help control your descent back to the floor. So I'll show you that again. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, I begin to lift the arms, head, neck, and shoulders curl up as the arm comes to the side. I press through that arm to help press me up. And then I reach that arm forward towards my toes. And then I stack up nice and tall, dropping my shoulders. And then I tuck my pelvis, arm can come back down to help me control myself all the way back down to the floor. So let's do two more. Inhale to prepare, exhale, arms come up, head, neck, and shoulders lift. I articulate through that spine and I reach forward towards my toes. Inhale, I stack up nice and tall and then tuck the pelvis and roll back down with control. 
Good, last time, inhale, prepare, exhale, curl up that head, neck, and shoulders coming up through the spine, draw those abs in nice and tight, reach forward towards those toes. Lift up nice and tall, tuck the pelvis, scooping through those abs to control your descent right back down to the floor. Good, arms can come by your side, legs will come back into that hook line position. We're going to come into single leg circles. And for this exercise, we're going to extend one leg up towards the ceiling as the other leg stays on the floor, arms by your side. This leg is going to lower straight down, then it's going to circle out to the side and then lift back up to that starting position. Now, as we are working these circles, we are really drawing those abdominals towards the spine. We are keeping the knee and the leg that's against the floor in line with our hip. It's gonna to wanna to kind of fall out to the side, but we're gonna keep that hip in line. And then when this leg circles out to the side, you may find that your opposite hip wants to lift. And I want you to keep that hip plugged into the floor. So let's give these a go. So we're going to lower and circle up and around one. Lower, up and around two. Lower, around three. Lower, and four, yes. Lower, around five. And lower, hold up here at the top and six. Good, so we're gonna take the same circle and just reverse it. So we're gonna open out to the side first. We squeeze through those inner thighs to come into the center and then straight up one. And open out and come up two. And around, come up three. Watch that hip and around, up four around, up five, and last time around, we bring that leg up six, bend that knee in, place that foot down to the floor, and then extend your opposite leg up nice and long. So another little point here is to really point through the toe on that extended leg, just to keep all those muscles nice and engaged. So here we go, we start with that down, circle out and up one. Good, down, and around up two, watch that hip. Down, around three. Down, around four. Down, around five. And down, around and up six, hold at the top. Now let's reverse it. We open out to the side, squeeze through that inner thigh to come to center and straight up one. And around, up two. Around, three around four around five and around up six bend that knee in bring that foot back to the floor from here we're going to move into our single leg stretch now if you've done any of my other videos i've thrown these next few exercises into a few of them just because there's some of the core basics in the mat pilates we're going to start by bringing our legs to tabletop, one leg at a time. We inhale to prepare. Exhale, we curl head, neck, and shoulders up off of the floor. I start by hugging my right knee into my chest as my left leg extends out nice and long. And then I'm going to switch and hug the left knee in as the right leg extends. And then we'll speed this up. We're going to switch and switch and switch and switch. Good, switch and switch and switch and switch let's go for four and four and three and three and two and two and one and one bring those legs back to tabletop lower that upper body down bring those legs down one at a time back to the floor so that's our single leg stretch now if that was a challenge enough i want you to come back into that single leg um, stretch while we come into the double leg, okay? So the double leg is a little more um, involved. So those legs come back to tabletop, one leg at a time. We inhale to prepare. Exhale, we curl head, neck, and shoulders up off of the floor. My hands are right to the outsides of my shins. I take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, I reach my arms and legs away. And then I draw my knees and back in as I hug my legs. And then reach and pull in two. And reach, three, reach, 
four, reach, five, reach, six, reach, seven, one more reach, bring it in, eight, lower upper body, bring those legs down one at a time. So that was our double leg stretch. The last one we're going to work here is our single straight leg. So those legs come all the way up towards the ceiling, 90 degree angle, and you want those legs as straight as possible. However, if you have tight hamstrings, you may find that you need to have a little bend to those legs, and that's okay. Straighten as much as you can. So I'm going to reach those legs nice and long. I inhale to prepare. I exhale to curl my head, neck, and shoulders up. And then I lower my left leg as I draw my right leg in towards my upper body, and then I switch. And let's go ahead and speed this up and switch, 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 four, three, two, one. Legs come up, lower upper body, bring those legs down one at a time. Excellent job on that. We are going to now roll over so that we are lying in a prone position or on our stomachs. So we're gonna roll to our side. And we're gonna lie all the way down. My legs are hip width to shoulder width apart. I want some space between them to keep my low back protected. And we're going to come into a swan dive prep. The swan dive itself is a more advanced exercise, but this is what we start with to work ourselves up to that full exercise. And those arms start by lying flat on the floor, hands to the outside of your shoulders. I draw my abs up towards my spine. I inhale to prepare. Exhale, I press through those arms as I draw up through those abs, and I come up as much as I can. So everyone's gonna be a little bit different here. And then I'm gonna control as I come back down. So exhale, press up, inhale, I lower down, and press up, and lower down. Now keep that head in line with your spine as we work these preps, and lower down. Let's do three more, three, and lower, and two, and lower, last one. And then we lower all the way down. Good. So from here, you're probably gonna need a little stretch through that low back. So from this position, we're going to press the glutes back towards our heels and then come into a child's pose, reaching nice and long. And then you can tuck that pelvis under and kind of round a little bit more through that spine. And then what I'd like you to do is then walk yourself back down to the floor. Coming into an exercise called the single leg kick, I'm going to scooch myself so you can see me a little bit better and can see my legs entirely. All right, so that's better. I clasp my hands together, I'm up on my forearms, I'm staying lifted, and I'm dropping my shoulders into my back pocket. So I want to avoid those shoulders up into my ears, right? I want to stay nice and lifted, actively engaged through my core. My legs are hip width apart, and I'm pointing through those toes as much as I can. We begin by bringing the right heel in towards the glute, and we beat in one, two, and then we extend that leg out nice and long. And then we do the same thing on the left. One, two, and extend. So let's go ahead and work that at a faster pace. Here we go, right leg, one, two, and reach, and one, two, and reach, one, two, and reach, one, two, and reach, one, two, 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 reach, one more time each side, one, two, reach, and one, two, reach. Now again, let's come into that child's pose to stretch out 
that low back. So I'm going to press myself back, pressing the glutes towards the heels. And then I'm going to tuck my pelvis under to round through my spine, just to get a little deeper stretch into that low back. Good. So we'll work one more exercise here in this prone position, and it's going to be a swimming prep. So again, I'm gonna walk myself back down to the floor, onto my stomach, and I extend my arms long in front of me. I'm going to lift opposite arm with opposite leg. So I lift my right arm and left leg together, and then I lower, and then I lift my left arm, right leg, and lower. And let's lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Abs in tight, and lower. Reach long through the head, and lower. Point those toes, and lower, and lift and lower, here we go, four, and lower, three, lower, two, lower, last one, lower, I take my hands to my side, and once again, I press myself back, glutes to the heels, I tuck my pelvis under to deepen that stretch, good, and I bring it up, nicely done. So we're gonna end with one final exercise here, and then we're gonna call it a day. And then hopefully next week, I will have my intermediate mat class up and running for you guys. And it takes some of these same exercises up to the next level, um, and also adds in some new exercises as well. So the last exercise we're going to do is going to be seated, uh, seated nice and tall. And I extend my legs out long in front of me. My feet, knees, and hips are all in alignment. And I wanna sit nice and tall and lift it on those sits bones, drawing my abdominals in, navel to the spine, arms reaching out nice and long from my shoulders. Now I have an imaginary ball right in front of my stomach resting on my legs, and I want to round over that ball. So really, as we round forward, we're just working from that mid to upper back, okay? So that low back should stay just as it is. So here we go, it's gonna look like this. We're going to scoop through those abs, round over our imaginary ball, and then we're gonna stack up nice and tall, drop those shoulders back and down. Good, and we're gonna round over the ball, and then we're gonna stack up nice and tall. Let's do that again, round forward. Inhale, lift and grow tall. Exhale, round. Inhale, come up nice and tall. Let's do two more. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Last time, exhale, round forward. And inhale, lift, grow nice and tall. Good, thank you so much you guys for joining me today. You can pair this with another workout that I've posted here on the club's YouTube or combine it with another one of our instructors videos on YouTube if you're looking for a longer workout. And of course, you could always play this through again to work and refine those exercises. Thank you so much. And